Hello everyone, this is Vader Man Cosplay. Just wanted to go ahead and um, let you guys know that I have went ahead and ordered a new lightsaber from Ultra Sabers um, here today and I'll be doing a review on that lightsaber as soon as it comes in. Now, um, during that time I've been also kind of looking along YouTube and everything and taking a look at different lightsaber videos and reviews. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and show my lightsaber collection off that I have. Now, the lightsabers that I have, um, I've got two Ultra Sabers, eventually going to have three. Um, I've got the Dark Saber from Pack Store, and then I have a 2005 Master Replicas Vader's lightsaber that I use um, for my Darth Vader cosplay with the 501st Legion. Now, um, the very first lightsaber that I got um was from ultra sabers and this was way back in december of 2016 or 2015 and go ahead and taking a look at this lightsaber so this lightsaber i got five years ago um and it still hold up in great shape um it is a stunt saber it is going to be the dark catalyst and it's going to be a purple bladed lightsaber um i went with the purple bladed lightsaber because um, I've always liked the purple blade. I like what it stands for. I like, if I ever thought that I was going to be a Jedi or if I ever was a Jedi, I would have a purple bladed lightsaber because I believe that you cannot have good without a little bit of dark and you can have dark without a little bit of good. They both need to balance each other. Now, um, here's the lightsaber itself. Um, one of the reasons why I went ahead and got this lightsaber um, was because of the, um, the windows on the top of the, um, saber right here. I love the emitter windows. Um, they are completely badass. Um, and I love the, the aesthetic of the, the black and then the metal right along the grip. I also got a converter wheel so I can go ahead and hook it up to a belt clip as well. Now, um, with this saber, I got the Ultra Edge uh, gray blade with it with a round tip. Um, to go ahead and put this saber in, there is right here on the top, there is going to be a little Allen screw that's going to hold this saber. And that's all that holds this saber in. Um, here's going to be your pummel on here. And like I said, this is five years old, so it's going to have a little wear and tear into it. Now, go ahead and turn on the saber itself. It kind of looks blue right here, but as you can see up on the top, it's definitely got that purple sheen to it. Um, I love this um, purple saber. Like I said, it was one of my very first sabers that I've ever had. Um, and I would definitely go ahead and recommend this saber. I've smacked this saber. I've done everything with this saber, and I've never had a full problem with the saber at all. I've never had any problems with it. The only thing that I do notice with the saber, since it does use two LEDs, um, when the saber's battery starts to get low, the blue um, LED will go out on it, and it'll actually just create the red LED itself, which is kind of interesting since I always say, oh, you're going to the dark side, so it's kind of funny. Next lightsaber that I got... Um, and I decided to do um, a Darth uh, Vader for um, the 501st Legion. And in order to do that costume, in order to be fully approved, you have to get yourself a lightsaber. Um, so I had, since I did Return of the Jedi um, Darth Vader, I asked around on the forums what lightsaber I needed to get. And this would be my, um, and they said I needed to get a 2005 Master Replicas. Um, lightsaber because that is the one that is inspired by Return of the Jedi. Now here's the lightsaber itself. Very nicely done lightsaber. You got the D-ring right up on the top. Got the little metal hilts. Exposed wires right here, another exposed wire, you got the ignition switch, and then right here, 
I got the sound. Let me see if I can it'll read that properly. No, it won't read that properly, but on that bottom it says Master Replicas 2005. Go ahead and ignite this saber. Very nicely done on the swing. It's not as sensitive as I would want it to be, but for a master replica, because you really can't go bad with it. And then you got your impact. And of course your sound is definitely gonna come out of the bottom right there. Definitely a nice looking blade. I, lo I love this saber, even though it's uh, Master Replicas, um, they did really well. The saber's really heavy, actually. I would say a good over two pounds, at least. Um, I love this saber very much. Now, um, with the saber itself, like I said, I it was one of the ones that I needed for my cosplay. Um, when I was looking on eBay for the saber... There was two of them, one that was cheaper and then this one. The one that was cheaper didn't actually show the lightsaber activated, so I was unsure because um, I didn't get this replaced with any LEDs, so it's the original blade inside here. And it's actually a LED strip kind of going up and down this blade. So when you go in and turn it on, it'll go up the blade, and when you turn it off, it just goes down. Um, the bad thing is when you're kind of looking at these sabers um, and you're looking at them at used conditions, make sure you have pictures with them turned on because um, a lot of the times these LEDs and these blades will actually sh um, short out or you won't even see the LED anymore. So that's the reason why I went with the more expensive one um, because they showed the full saber lit on, lit up and it was, um, I could see no um no nothing wrong with the leds on the saber itself now the next saber that i got um i've always wanted to get a double bladed lightsaber ever since i saw phantom menace way back in 1999 um i was 14 at the time and i absolutely loved darth maul as everyone does in the star wars community I love that double-bladed lightsaber. I loved watching Duel of the Fates. And now with this saber, um, I got a, like I said, a double-bladed green saber. Now, this is the Phantasm from um, Ultra Sabers. And I went with a green saber. And go ahead and show you the saber right here. I love, um, I decided to go ahead and do the upgraded right here on the switch because um, since it is a metal hilt, I wanted to get that um, metal looking activation switch. Um, right on the emitter, you've got some open windows right here. Kind of go, go down the blade. Here's going to be your center of the blade and then the same exact one kind of gold inlays right around the grip area and then same thing the emitter right there uh, with this saber they're basically two shoto sabers put together um you can actually untwist this to get it to come off as, as you can see it's starting to come off um and they do come with a um, two bottoms to this, so if you actually wanted to use them as two Shoto shavers, you could definitely do so. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this, um, if I would move this, I can get them to align. But let's see if I can get this back. They don't, they don't line up properly when it's fully tight. One's on one side and one's on the other. That would be the only thing that I would change. I bet I could get it um better if i kind of messed with it a little bit but all in all it's a great saber um again another stud saber from ultra sabers let's go ahead and turn it on it 
definitely got that green. Kind of looks blue in the camera, but it definitely is green. Speaking of which, what I'm going to go ahead and do here, see if I can reach my light switch. And I can. Haha. -ha. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. We definitely see the green now on this saber. I love that green. That green is so beautiful. And I'll go ahead and turn on the other ones here. Go ahead and turn on Vader Saber here real fast. Look at that. Go ahead and turn that off and then we'll go ahead and turn on the Dark Catalyst. Ooh, so pretty. I love that purple blade. And eventually when I get to um, Walt Disney, Walt Disneyland or Disney World, I will be getting um, a blade from Savi's. Now, um, I'm I decided I was going to do a blue blade originally, um, but I decided you know what the blue blade I love the blue blade, but like I said before, if I was ever going to be a Jedi, it would be purple. So I'm going to go ahead and do a purple bladed um, lightsaber from Savi's and. I'll go ahead and do a video on that when I get down to Savi's. I was thinking on going next year, but I saw because of COVID, you can't really interact with the characters. And that's one of my main things because I plan on going in costume. And I want to be able to interact with the characters and instead of just waving beyond a barrier saying hi. Like, that to me is not that fun. Um, so as soon as you can start interacting with the characters, hopefully by 2022, um, we'll be able to do that. Um, maybe even by, uh, by September or October of 2021. Keep my fingers crossed on that one. Um, later on, I will go ahead and show you guys my collection of different helmets that I have and different cosplays that I have in general. Um, I will look forward to seeing you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay tuned to all the latest videos that I will be coming out with. And next, I will go, like I said, um, later on, once I get that new lightsaber in from Ultra Sabers, I will go ahead and be doing an unboxing and a review on that saber. So I look forward to seeing you guys later. And again, you have yourself a great day and may the force be with you.